Good morning, students. Welcome back to SDR online class. I am Pada today. I am taking the history fifth lesson that is values of Mysore. Important values of Mysore. Who all are they? How they have been in the Karnataka state in doing certain part to be the learn your children. The importance of important values of Mysore. Important for years of Mysore among the this one. Yeduera Yeduraya was the first king of Mysore state. Yeduraya was the first king of the Mysore state. He ruled from 1399 to 171423 CE. Yeduraya, he was the Mysore state and that ruled from which year? 1399 to 1423 CE. Who is he? Yaduraya. He is the most important king of warriors of Mysore. He was the very brave king among all the kings. Yaduraya was the most important king who has been very good among other kings. He ruled from 1399 to 1423 CE. Ganda Verunda was the emblem of the Mysore state. For the emblem of the uh, Mysore state, that is Ganda Verunda. And for the state of the emblem was there, Sri Lanka Patna was their capital. Ganda Verunda was the Emblem. For the emblem of the Mysore state and the Sri Ranga Patna was the capital of the Sri Ranga was the capital city of the warriors of Mysore. So Gandhara Bayrunda was the emblem of the Mysore state. Sri Ranga Patna was the capital city of Mysore state. Chikka Devaraya. He was the who was a very prominent, uh, we can tell, as a, a very good prominent king of the Mysore state. Chikka Devaraya. He ruled from the year 1673 to 1704. Chikka Devaraya. Chikka Devaraya. He ruled for the year 1673 CE to 1704 CE. He wrote from the year 1673 to 1704 CE. CE means common era. Chikka Devaraya is the prominent, a very good, prominent means very good king of early kings before who has been. He implemented many pro people measures. He implemented when he go people made up, he opened the Athara Kacheri. Athara Kacheri, you can see in your textbook page number 55 here. Here in the page number 55, you can see the Athara Kacheri over there in the Mysore. Now also it is situated over there only. Athara Kacheri and with the 18 departments. In that Athara Kacheri, how many departments were there? 18 departments were there. He built a dam across the western parts or western sea, the western part of the state. He has been what he did, he built a dam over there and well as of river Kaveri near Sri Ranga Patna and provided irrigation facility because of the river Kaveri. There the irrigation facility has been done and with the help of the dam also the agriculture has been done very good over there. He introduced thrift in the administration. Means how to use the money over there in what way, in, uh, what 
how the money should be used for the administration, agriculture, and in other department, and enrich the treasury. And from that, to which we the money we will put, and which how we will get it out. So that knowledge was there for the Chikka Devaraya, and confirmed with the number fourteen Narayana. So the paper has been. Even him the for the chikka devara as a number fourteen or a number fourteen means what? Nine fourteen. Fourteen means nine crores. So in such a way he has been uh, developed the Mysore state to chikka devara. He was was having a knowledge and in all the way the people were happy in his rule. Mysore state was prosperous during his reign. That's why I told. That it was a prosperous with all with the wealth and with the money was there. The people were very happy in his rule. Chikka Deva prosperous reason of the battle. The later kings were free. After the Chikka Deva Raya, whoever the kings who ruled the Mysore state, they were very big. He was mentally strong, physically also very strong. The army which he was being led was very good. And he was having a prosperous and he did it all around the he was the generation. The administration was overseen by Darwalis. After him, the administration was seen by the Darwalis, means the by the ministers who ruled in the name of kings. It has been ruled in the name of kings over there. Now, after the Chikka Devaraya, Hyder Ali and Tipu Sultan. Hyder Ali, he has been. Hyder Ali, Sushma, seventeen sixty one to seventeen eighty two CE. Hyder Ali was an. Eminent commander, very strong. Eminent means very strong commander with high wealth. And in Darwalis, Darwalis means the people who were under the kings. They are called as Darwalis and Nanjaraja's army. In the Nanjaraja's army, who was there? This Hyder Ali was in the Darwali. And in which department? In the name of the Nanda na, Nanda Raja's army. He was brave and adventurous. He was a, the either he was a brave and adventurous. He won many battles and accumulated wealth for the Mysore state. He won the he won the many battles against the enemies and he brought the wealth to the Mysore state and well as for the army. This made him to gain respect in the front of the king. When there was a reward, when something got the reward between the king and the people, he suppressed that one and he took the administration in his hand to either Ali. And it was and restored the kingship and for Krishna Raja warrior after Chikka Devaraya who came Krishna Raja warrior. Krishna Raja Vadiya became and under him the Hyder Ali was worked as the commander over there. And he removed the Dalvais and took over all the this one under the administration. Who removed the Dalvais? Uh, Hyder Ali removed the Dalvais under the Krishna Raja Vadiya, uh, Krishna Raja Vadiya, and he took the administration under him who Hyder Ali in the year 1761 to 1782 he ruled the soon after taking over the administration under him he engaged in extending the army work he actually started taking the battles and he started increasing and large his state he defeated the Kelladi rulers of Sulpur and confiscated the wealth and improved his financial status he uh, battled with the kelladi rulers and he took under him and he what he made he made over the status the wealth has been brought by himself 
and the wealth has been the very good over there. In the financial status was improved when he uh, battled with the elder years. He also took over the Chitradurga fort with a lot of uh, difficulties. He took over the lot of difficulties. He took over the wealth of uh, uh, fort of uh, Chitradurga. Now battled with the Britishers. The next one comes with the battle with the Britishers. Battle with the Britishers. Why the battle has been the over? The Britishers came here for business and they have been slowly entered in our politics and became powerful in the politics. Slowly they came and asked for the business purpose and they entered in the politics over there. The British did not tolerate the expansion of the Hyder Ali war, how he was growing up, that was not been bearable for the Britishers of Mysore King in the state of Hyder Ali. They led to an inevitable clash between Hyder Ali and Britishers. They had been many revolt against the Britishers and the land the Hyder Ali. In the first anglo mysore war, the Britishers suffered a considerable loss over there. The battle was took under the Britishers and Hyder Ali. For that, you may call as first anglo mysore war. First Anglo Mysore War has been put over there between the Britishers and well as the uh, Hyder Ali. And in this battle, Hyder Ali has won the battle. Hence, they had to sign the Madras Treaty. What they have to sign? That has been passed uh, inevitably. They have to sign the Madras Treaty. Madras Treaty was the first man of Anglo Mysore War was put between the Hyder Ali and the Britishers, and it has been signed it as Madras Treaty. In this first Anglo Mysore War, Hyder Ali has been won the battle. As for the treaty, both the parties has to be signed that if any the third person will come or they will take any uh, put the war against them, they have to support each other, but it has been not been happened. The thing is that this inevitable elevated status of Hyder Ali a few years after a few years of this treaty, Marathas has been battled with the Hyder Ali. In that war, the Britishers were neutral. They had been not supported for Hyder Ali. What the, in this treaty, what the, it has been signed that if any difficulties will come, the both the parties should go together and the treaty will be signed. But it has been not happened over there like that the Britishers were neutral. They were not being supported for the Hyder Ali. This was been the main reason which made the Hyder Ali anger and the second Mysore Anglo Mysore war been took in that battle Hyder Ali was been died in the second Anglo Mysore war the battle was continued by Tipu Sultan in second Anglo Mysore war what has been happened Hyder Ali has been died for the uh, this one clashes of Britishers Hyder Ali had died in the Second Mysore War, but his son, the Tipu Sultan, has been continued the battle. So, achievements of Hyder Ali, what he has been achieved. Achievements of Hyder Ali. Hyder Ali was aware of contemporary politics. He was aware of contemporary politics. Though he was illiterate, he was knowing very 
different languages, including Canada also. He wants to be not an illiterate person. He is an illiterate person, even though he is very intelligent. He extended the kingdom of administration. Hyder Ali was an important place in the annals of Karnataka state. He established the beautiful Lalbha Garden in Bengaluru. Lalbha Garden has been introduced by the Hyder Ali. Till today, you can see the Lalbha Garden in Bengaluru. Now comes the Tipu Sultan. 
the two children he has to keep as a hostage. As the when he will clear this three hundred and fifty lakhs, then only his children will be released or uh, released by the officials. This uh, treaty was made with Kuwait and uh, for himself. So he decided to throw the Britishers out of India. The fourth Anglo Muslim War started. Again, Sri Lanka Patna was seized by another Britishers. Tipu fought violently. He fought very violently and died in the and in the battle field. Tipu Sultan is known as Tiger of Mysore. Tipu Sultan will be known him as Tiger of Mysore. Who is known as Tiger of Mysore? Means Tipu Sultan is known as a Tiger of Mysore. You can write it as one mark question. You can ask the question also one mark. So after the fall of Tipu Sultan, Mysore came under the uh, rule of Britishers. After the defeat of the Britishers for the Tipu Sultan, the uh, rule was came. The kingdom was came under the Britishers. They handed the handed over all the kingdom to Krishna Raj Warrior King. And but Mysore became the dependent state of the British. They handed over uh, Britishers handed over to Krishna Raj Warrior Three. After the death of the Tipu Sultan, the Britishers, the full Mysore state has been come under the control of the Britishers. The Britishers, what they did, they handed over the Krishna Raja Vadir III, but the Mysore state they has become the dependent of the Britishers mostly. Personality and achievements of Tipu Sultan. What is he has been, he was very good in science and technology. He did many good things and he built many mosques, temples. He has been treated the Hindus and Muslims equally. So, socially, he was a very good achievement of Tipu Sultan. Achievements of what he has been achieved. Let us see personality and achievements of Tipu Sultan. Tipu was aware of latest achievements in science and technology. Latest achievements of science and technology. He had a very good library also. He had a very good library. He built Bangalore Palace and Summer Palace in Sri Lanka. You can see in the page of uh, 58 and 59. Here you can see Bangalore Palace and the Ria Daulat Sri Lanka Patna. And well as the Juma Masjid of Sri Lanka Patna. It has been built by Hyder Ali and well as Tipu Sultan itself. So, so these are the things which achievements of Tipu Sultan. He did many things over there, and well as Bangalore Palace, well as the Darya Daulat in Sri Lanka Patna, and well as Juma Masjid. So, like this summer palace with the very beautiful paintings depicting historical incidents over there. Very good painting is there. Tipu put a lot of effort to enrich his kingdom. He popularized the sericulture in the state. He popularized the sericulture in the state itself. He modernized his army with the help of French people. He just modernized, he made the army uh, modernizing means he has brought his son, he has brought some technical changes in his army with the help of the French people. He mounted guns in Sri Ranga Patna, 
mastering the techniques of uh, launching the rockets was his uniqueness. At that time only he had launched the rockets and well as his uniqueness. Tipu sanctioned grants to many Hindu temples well as mosques also and he gave the gift to Sringeri Mata. He brought many changes in the field of uh, sericulture and helped farmers and well as giving loans which cannot be replaced in easy installment. He helped for the farmers by giving the loans and told, told them to uh, give the uh, this one, return the amount in a very easy manner. The tomb of Hyder Ali and the Juma was made great construction finished by and see very beautiful mosque it has been constructed by Hyder Ali and Manas Tipu Sultan which has been uh, situated in Sri Lanka but now the mind breaks of the masjid are known for their beauty it has been known for their beauty itself he established royal means at Sri Lanka Patna and he has named many this one and well as the this one. Krishna Raja Vadiyar means after his this one, Krishna Raja Vadiyar means. state and divided into four parts. It has been divided into four parts. First part is the Britishers, Marathas, Nizams themselves and well as the First one was it has been divided into four parts. One part is for the Britishers. Second one, Marathas, Nijams, and one that the fourth one is the Krishna So what has been first one is for Britishers, it has been divided into four parts in like this way. So Krishna Raja Vadir third was brought to power since Krishna Raja Vadir third was only of five years old. He is the he is of the child of five years old child. Purnaya was appointed as the Vivan of Mysore state. Who Purnaya in his to help the uh, Krishna Raja Varavadiya, uh, who was the divan of the Mysore state, Purnaya. Was the divan of the Mysore state. Means whatever the law and order has to be taken, it has been done in the, under him. So, as they felt that Krishna Raja Vadir III did not properly suppress the revolt of Vidunuru of Shimoga. They dethroned the king and what they made brought the administration of Mysore under the commission. So he is a small child. So the uh, Britisher bring down for the uh, to Krishna Raja Vadir and they gave in the hands of the commissioner. So like this. The administration of commissioner has been started in the year 
AD31 to AD31. After these things, after the Krishna Raja Warrior 3, the administration has been given in the hands of the commissioners, those who are playing under the British Rose Administration of commissioners has been started by the rule of all the kings they went off and who came the commissioner. Who was the first commissioner? Mark Kabbal, 1834 to 1861. 1830, the commissioners were ruled in the year 1831 to 1861 CE. The first commissioner was Mark Kappan. Mark Kappan, he ruled for the year 1834 to 1861 CE. Administration of commissioners where after the Krishna Raja's day or Krishna Raja Vadiya three, they have been dethroned by the Britishers. After them, who came? Administration of commissioners has been taken. They ruled for 1831 to 1881. The first commissioner was Mark Kappan. He ruled Mysore State in the year 1834 to 1861 CE. Mark Kappan implemented many administration reforms in the state. He started many reforms in the state itself. He transferred the capital from Mysore to Bengaluru. He transferred the capital from Mysore state to the Bengaluru state. Till today, we will call as Karnataka's capital city is Bengaluru only. Mysore was being divided into administrative units and kept them under supervisors and supervisors. It has been divided on to that is supervisors and supervisors. Administration's unit has been divided into districts and taluka. It has been administration also has been divided into two that is district and well as taluka. Judiciary and police departments were organized Karnataka, Kannada was implemented as the official language. Mark Kappan has given the permission to be as the official language as Kannada itself. New roads were built, and as a result, all the major places of the state could be get connected directly to Bengaluru. The roads were built, and another one good thing is it has been connected from other places directly to Bengaluru. Bridges were built, telegraphs, uh, lines were being laid over there, the construction of a railway station also has been started, Bengaluru and well as Jola Bay. The first time it has been started, the railway, uh, railway line over there between Bengaluru and Jola Bay. This was the first railway in the state. He resigned from the commissioner post for in the year 18. Many good things also he did for our aspect and uh, in the name of his memory, the Kappan Park has been built over in Bengaluru one So another one good thing what then has been done is the first time the uh, telegraph line has been laid over, bridges were built and well as the first time the railway uh, line has been built between the Bengaluru and Jola just reconstructed uh, the roads also, which we directly been taken to the Bengaluru state itself. So this is the things which we have been learned. Next to tomorrow's lessons, I will be telling you about the use when we are coding Chandra Vadiya 10, Nalvadi Krishna Raja Vadiya, and well as certain Vishweshwaraya's. But all the things in tomorrow's lesson, I will be the points. So please see through it, complete your classwork, homework, which we are sending in the PDF, be in time and come regularly to the school children like the batch-wise, batch 1, 2, 
which we are being sent in the PDF. Ultimately, we are sending you the uh, ink, which are the we are mainly for the batches and the science exhibition is being held in today and tomorrow. Come for that, participate in that also. Okay. Just we will have Yadura. Yaduraya was the first king of Mysore king in the year 13. 1992 1423 CE. Uh, Ganda Perunda was the capital uh, emblem of the Mysore state and the Sri Ranga Patna was the capital of the Mysore state. Chikka Devaraya was the prominent king who ruled over that and well as he has built other Kacheri with the 18 departments which will be helpful for the uh, people to partake of control. He built a dam across the uh, western uh, stream of river Kaveri and it is helpful for the irrigation well as the uh, provide irrigation facilities well as for the farmers also. He introduced the script in the in his administration and enriched the great treasury and confirmed with the Confessed to him with the Navakoti Narayana. All the people were happy with the Chikka Devaraya rule when his prosperous wealth was there being introduced. Everything was good. The city was very calm and quiet, very happy with his administration. Mysore state was prosperous during the region of Chikka Devaraya. Later, things went after the Chikka Devaraya, whoever the people came there, very weak. The administration was overseen by Dharavahis. It has been seen by the Dharavahis, especially by the Hyder Ali and Tipu Sultan, which we have been told. Even though he is an illiterate person, he was knowing many languages and he took control over there. And British um, he made a very, and four Mysore and uh, Anglo Wars were took. In that first war, he uh, either he has been one that is called as a Madras TV. And in second war, it is being TV has been called as a Mangalore TV. TV. It has been signed by Tipu Sultan and well as the Britishers. In this way, the Hyder Ali and Tipu were ruled in the year 1761 to 18, uh, 1782 CE. And uh, they supported the Mansur people also. Uh, in the years and Tipu took the control over the Mansur state from the year 1788 to 82 to 1799 CE. And he was being technically he was he was being modernized with the scientific things and in the army also he brought some uh, different changes. Like this he was being modern and the title war for the Tipu Sultan was being given as Tiger of Mysore. Like this, the small hands, you know. After Tipu Sultan, Krishna Raja Vadiya III, he was very small, five years old child. Among, uh, under him, Kulaya was being declared as a demon, but the Britishers were not happy with the Krishna Raja Vadiya III. So they dethroned him, and the administration of the commissioners had been taken. The first one I told you of Mark Coburn. He ruled in the year 1834 to 1861. Thank you, one and all. Children.